State for National Development Desmond Lee has questioned the accountability and transparency of the Aljunit Hokang Pongal East Town Council, which is managed by the Opposition Workers' Party. His comments come just a day after his ministry explained how government grants are dispersed to town councils. In a strongly worded statement, Mr. Lee said the town council has yet to explain its serious financial mismanagement and service and conservancy charges arrears. He also accused the Workers' Party's friends and proxies of launching a coordinated online campaign to distract the public using falsehoods, half-truths and speculations. Mr. Lee charged that the aim was to confuse and distract the public from the real issues. He said this was what the party often does when it's caught under the spotlight. Mr. Lee added that the town council has admitted that nearly 30% of its residents owe service and conservancy charges for three months or more. And he said that was a sudden spike which the party's leaders have yet to explain. He asked why the delay in obfuscation. Mr. Lee also pointed to the fact that the town council had stopped submitting its S and CC arrears data to his ministry since May last year. He said party chairman uh, Sylvia Lim had given the excuse that the town council is busy with the AGO audit. He questioned how this could be the reason when the town council had stopped giving the data 10 months before the audit started. He also queried how from an operating surplus of 3.3 million dollars in FY 2010, the town council ran a deficit of 734,000 dollars two years later. He asked if the SNCC from Aljunit GRC residents are being used to cover the deficit in Hogang. Mr. Lee said the town council had not answered questions raised by its auditors as well as the public about the state of its finances today. The National Development Ministry has confirmed that the transfer of $3.7 million or 80% of accumulated surplus to the Workers' Party Managed Sinking Fund following the 2011 general election was in accordance with the Town Council's Act. The clarification came about after a socio-political website, The Online Citizen, had asked if a factual error had been made with the figure, citing a portion of the Town Council's Act. But the Ministry said there was no error in the original response. A section 34, subsection 4 of the Act says, should the area of a town be changed due to electoral boundary changes, the 80% figure applies.